Bienvenidos. Welcome to another episode of Spain on a Fork. Friday is finally here. Friday! And we've got a great recipe to kick off the weekend. We're talking a Mediterranean vegetable and fish stew. This dish is filled with so many beautiful Mediterranean flavors. It's very easy to make and it comes together in just 40 minutes. You know, this is another one of those dishes that for the cooler weather really warms your soul. But the best part, it's very healthy for you and it's gonna fill your body with so much goodness. Really quick before we begin, a shout out to one of my patrons, Barbara Eastman. Once again, Barbara, thank you so much for being a patron of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. All right, let's begin by grabbing a stock pot, heating it with a medium heat and adding in about three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 45 milliliters. While the olive oil is heating, I'm gonna grab 10 raw blanched almonds. If you have an allergy to nuts, you can replace the almonds for two slices of baguette that are half an inch thick, which is about one and a quarter centimeters. And I'm gonna remove the skins from four cloves of garlic. After heating the olive oil for about two minutes, I'm gonna add in the almonds and the cloves of garlic into the stock pot. And we'll start mixing them around with the olive oil. Very important to mix this continuously, that way the ingredients don't brown too quickly and they all evenly saute. After about two to three minutes, and the almonds and cloves of garlic have a beautiful golden fried color to them, I'm gonna start removing them from the stock pot, adding them into a mortar, and then setting it aside. Now the vegetables I'm gonna to use to make this stew are the ones that are most commonly used here in the Mediterranean, but you can use whatever vegetables you have on hand. Either way you go, make sure when you cut your vegetables, you cut them into bigger pieces as it gives the stew more of a chunky texture. All right, let's move back to the stock pot. Using the same heat, I'm gonna add in half of an onion that I roughly chopped, one red bell pepper that's been roughly chopped, one carrot that's been peeled and thinly sliced, one zucchini that's been cut into large chunks. This is also known as a courgette. And three cloves of garlic that have been thinly sliced. And we'll mix the vegetables around. That way they're all coated in that olive oil. And at this point, you don't have to mix this continuously, but do get in there every one to two minutes. That way everything evenly sautés. After about five to six minutes, and all the vegetables are lightly sauteed, and the onions are nice and translucent, I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of dried oregano, which is one gram, and half a teaspoon of dried thyme, which is about half a gram. We'll give this a quick mix, that way the dried herbs are evenly coating all the vegetables. And then we'll add in half a cup of white wine, which is 125 milliliters. You can substitute the wine for the same amount of broth with a couple drops of lemon juice. Then we'll turn up the heat from a medium heat to a medium high heat. And we'll give this a mix and cook it for a couple minutes. That way the alcohol in the white wine can cook off. After about three to four minutes and the alcohol in the white wine has cooked off and it's reduced in half, I'm gonna grab a 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes, which is 400 grams, and add it into the stock pot. And then season everything with sea salt and a generous portion of freshly cracked black pepper. We'll give it a quick mix, that way everything's evenly mixed together. And then add in two cups of vegetable broth, which is 475 milliliters. The broth that I'm using is homemade. You'll find the recipe on how to make it in the description box below in iCard above. And we'll give this a quick mix and bring that broth to a boil. In the meantime, let's move back to the mortar with the fried almonds and cloves of garlic. I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of finely chopped parsley, which is eight grams, and a pinch of sea salt. And using a pestle, I'm gonna pound down on the ingredients until we form a paste. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, you can also use a food processor for this step. Once the broth comes to a boil, I'm gonna add in the almond and garlic mixture into the stock pot. Give it a mix, that way everything's evenly mixed together. Place a lid on the stock pot and lower the fire to a low medium heat. 
while the stew is simmering, let's start getting our fish ready. I've got about 340 grams here of fresh hake, which is 12 ounces. If you can't find hake in your area, no big deal. You can substitute it for any other white firm fish, such as cod or halibut. I'm gonna cut the pieces of hake into chunks that are about one inch by one inch, which is two and a half centimeters by two and a half centimeters. And we'll season the hake with a little sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm also going to grab about 12 raw jumbo shrimp that have been peeled in the vein. The ones I bought, I bought frozen and thawed them out. So it's very important to pan them dry with some paper towels to remove any of the excess water in the shrimp. Then when we add them into the stew, they can absorb all the flavors. And we'll season the shrimp with a little sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. All right, let's move back to the stew. It's been simmering for about 10 minutes on a low medium heat. And at this point, all those flavors should be well developed. I'm gonna remove the lid from the stock pot. And as you can see, it's really thickened up thanks to that almond and garlic mixture. For the next step, I'm gonna add in the pieces of white fish. We'll give it a quick mix. That way all the pieces of fish are coated in that broth. And then place the lid back on the stock pot. After about three minutes, I'm gonna remove the lid from the stock pot and add the shrimp into the pan. And once again, we'll give the shrimp a quick mix, that way they're all fully coated in that broth. And we'll place the lid back on the stock pot and go for about another minute here. This is gonna ensure that all our seafood is perfectly cooked through. Then I'm gonna remove the stock pot from the heat and we'll transfer the stew into shallow bowls and then sprinkle it with some finely chopped parsley. Check it out, our Mediterranean vegetable and fish stew is done so easy to put together. Incredible aromas coming out of it, but more importantly, look at that beautiful presentation. Let's give this a try and see how it turned out. Folks, this is what the Mediterranean kitchen is all about. Look how beautiful this looks. Here we go. It's absolutely delicious. But first things first is all the vegetables and the fish are perfectly cooked through. And as for the flavors with all those dried herbs, such a huge bunch of Mediterranean goodness. You saw this very easy to make, comes together in about 40 minutes. It's very healthy for you. Serve it next to a crunchy baguette and a bar of Spanish wine for the ultimate Mediterranean experience. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. That way our Spain on a Four community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.